Hello, talented souls. Happy day, happy week, happy life. Hope you're doing amazing. Welcome. Sorry for my voice. It's lost. Too much talking. <laughs> it's that time of the year, no? There is so many people, you know, it's winter and these people is getting ready to swim. No, well, to row. Look at that. That's very brave because it's very cold and I love it. Brave, yes. I have been very brave lately, I must confess. And um, life throw us sometimes, you know, many rocks and we hold in there, we hold in there. Till one moment, we have to cut it off. And in life, you know, we have as humans face many, many situations that the hardest skill to learn is how to say no. I tend to be a very easy yes, and I tend to be uh, someone that, uh, you know, um, try to help, you know, try to help, try to um, be available, support, you know. But sometimes, you know, when we get Uh, I say we, we, when people get advantage of our capacity to say yes to many things is the realization that we have to learn to say no. It has been a hard lesson on me but sometimes, you know, hard lessons are the ones that really make us grow. So I'm thankful for every experience and every opportunity that I had in the last year to learn how to say no. And I show you these birds here, look amazing. They're so pretty. How many we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. Eleven, of course. Eleven. Just to settle the message. Learn to say no. And learn fast. So, apologies also for not having a, a, a intro last week. Uh, I'm a fan of my intros. I love doing intros. Look at the house, so pretty. I'm a, the river is very high today. I'm very fan of my intros, but you have to have the message and you have to let it flow. So the message of today is, what are the healing, the blessings that are helping you, okay? okay? They're helping you. I mean, I, I don't want to be very specific with the title, but I want, okay, so if I don't want to be, okay, this will be the topic. Messages from the universe you need to hear right now. And let's leave it open. It could be a healing message, it could be a blessing, it could be a surprise, okay? Uh, I hope, you know, this is my FM voice, meaning, you know, like the voice that is like uh, the deep boy voice. <laughs> um, I love you so much. Thank you for all the support. Thank you for the likes, the shares. Thank you for being here. I love you so, so much. Namaste. See you in your reading. Bye bye. I will need to interrupt time to time for the cough. But I'm okay. I'm okay. So, thank you for the love and thank you for the comments and thank you for being here. We have three options and today I am going to introduce the pendulums. These I purchased on the purpose to use it on a reading. They are not available in my Etsy shop, but I thought, okay, I need pendulums to use in a reading and to charge with energy. And so we have today three pendulums to answer a message that meant to find you, okay? That message could be about anything. It could be healing, it could be surprise, a gift. That's the intention for the reading. We have three options, okay? So option number one, and I will use the pendulum, of course. You ask a question and then I will tell you yes or no. And this is the tiger eye. It's gorgeous. The light doesn't make justice, but it's gorgeous, okay? 
and it has all the chakras. I love this pendant. Okay, and this is the Enchanted Foxana Tarot. One of my new tarot. Night of water. Look at that. It match the colors of the pendulum. That mermaid match the pendulum. Night of water. Beautiful deck. That's option number one. It's very earthy as well. Option number two is the clear quartz pendulum. It's gorgeous. And this is one of my favorite, the mystical tarot. You have seen this before, I'm sure. It's my favorite. It's one of my favorite. Well, it's my favorite, I will say. I have two favorites, this one and another one. The High Priestess, the All Seen. The Clear Quartz is all about clarity. The High Priestess see very clear. Very, very connected energy. Oh, I'm loving this. I'm loving this already. Option number three is the Jade Pendulum. Epa, what happened there? It's tangled. There is something tangled in your life. Okay, we need to untangle. We need to untangle this. My nails are too long now. I cannot do that much stuff. Okay. Jade. Gorgeous green. With a green deck, of course. And this is the Sacred Bee Tarot. One of my favorite, but no, my top favorite. My top favorite is this one and another one. Knight of Cups again. Two Knight of Cups. Wow. It's definitely a message from the universe. You know what I mean? Knight of Cups is an offer. Mm, I like it. Two Knights and the same Cups. Oh, I like it. Okay. I'm already getting messages. But I will let you choose based on whatever the criteria that you want. And I'm going to continue the video to prepare the uh, Oracle decks. And I see you there or I see you in your reading. Thank you for the support. Please subscribe. That's the only thing. No, that's one of the things that you need to do. <laughs> the rest is a lot. Means become my patron, comment, get on my Etsy shop, you know, purchase one of these. This, this, um, this uh, pendulum will be charged with the reading and available on my Etsy shop. The link is under timestamps. Namaste. See you soon. Hello, my talented souls. Okay, let's go for it. Well, we're going to prepare the oracle cards. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I love these colors. Okay. A crystal deck. I haven't used this deck in a very long time. This is a Colet Battle Ray. Crystal Oracle. Okay, let's charge. I'm using a while, that's why I'm I'm shuffling a lot. Look, carnelian and a spirit quartz. Mm. It's a beautiful deck, but because I don't know, I don't use it that often. Okay, one crystal for each pile. Then I wanted this deck badly for this reading, and this is the witch's season. Gorgeous. There is a combo of cars, eh? There is a combo of cars. It will be very varied energy. That's my plan. Very much a mix of energies. This deck has nothing to do with this deck. You understand? This deck is very different. Okay. Different in energy. It's the creator's energy. The people that create those. Dorin Beer 2, the Life Purpose Oracle deck. It's a beautiful deck. I'm on a project of creating a deck, by the way. A Dragon's deck. I have interpreted already 10, no, a little bit more, more than 10 uh, paintings. And it will be a deck, an oracle deck of 48 cars. And the plan is to launch by to launch by the start of the dragon year, Chinese year. It will be amazing. 
honestly, powerful. It's a collaboration. I love it. I love to do that. I wish I had more time to do more. But it's beautiful. Okay, this is messages. Angels messages. No. No, no. All right. Daily guidance from your angels. Dorin Virtua again. Also, we have two, two decks from Dorin Virtua. No, three. These are all decks by Dorin Virtua. Dorin Virtua wanted to come today. Oh, this is not. This is all mixed. Mm. To be like that. It's a mix of three decks from Dorin Virtual. Well, they're all mixed. I will need to spend hours to tie it up. I want these stars. I want to put two. Let's see. One star here, so I take this way. So one, one. Okay. What is the message of this one for all of us? Motivation. <laughs> okay. Then this one by Colette. So Colette has two decks. Dorin Virtu has two decks. This is Colette the, go the Goddess Oracle. The Goddess Oracle. It's beautiful. I mean, this one is it's not very popular, not many tarot readers has it, but it's very good. I think it's a very good deck. Last but not least, I haven't used this in a while and I like it. This is a very different energy. This is the Untamed Elemental Oracle. Very different energy. Untamed Elemental Oracle. It's new. One of my recent acquisitions. That's it. And forgot one. <coughs> ah, I have to stop. Story cards by Kathy Nichols. Beautiful. You see, like the mix of energy that we have. We have a lot of different energies. Okay, we have plenty of cards. A lot. It will be a long reading, guarantee. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here with me. See you in your reading. Love you. Hello, talented souls. Happy day, happy week, happy life. Welcome to your pile. You've got chosen pile number one and this beautiful tiger eye pendulum that we're going to use at the end with a yes or a no for whatever question after the reading this will be charged with your reading and available on my Etsy shop on the listing under the timestamps your tarot deck is the Foxted Enchanted no, the Enchanted Foxana Tarot you shuffle with your energy sorry for my voice it is a little bit Kind of a virus or something like that, infection. Well, it's the winter. Sometimes these things happen. <laughs> this is your deck. Okay. This will be for the end. The crystal will be for the end. And this message will be for the end. And this will be your message on the Oracle cards. Okay, what is the message that meant to find you right now? Okay, let's see the message meant to find you right now. Falling leaves. Let's go 14. People born on the 14. 14 is a number that you see all the time. 41 as well. 
Let go of the things that weigh heavily on you. You deserve to take up a space. Yes. This connect with my intro in this video. There is, it's harder to learn how to say no. And you are learning to how to say no. Okay? Everything that needs to fall is going to fall. Everything that deserves you is going to stand. That's the first message. Such a beautiful card, no? And also trust your intuition because we have a crow on the top of the hair. Your intuition is a spot on. Meaning, you don't need to see to know. You don't need to see to know. You need to close your eyes and look inside. What needs to be let go, it has to be let go. Okay. Time to decide. Wow. Make a decision based on your heart true desires. Well, this is about letting go and this is about making a decision. You have to say no to all these numbers and pick the numbers that you want. Which story you want to, to leave, which story you want to leave behind. She's looking at the past because for me the left is always the past. This is about multiple options. And remember that you are in a matrix and you create your own life. This is about creation as well. This is a card about, you may have very long hair because we have two girls with very long hair. Long hair is significant. So you're ready to make a decision in this matrix, meaning you're ready to make a decision that serves your purpose. It is the time right now. New beginnings. Wow. 13. Look at that. 41. I'm oh, sorry. 31 and 41. This has been a process that for some of you have taken 10 years to change. 10 years. When I see this car, another girl with a long hair, girl with a long hair. We have three hair colors here. We have the blonde, the brunette, and the black hair. That's significant. Blonde, brunette, and black. Also, this could be the hair of someone old, you know, like a white hair. Doesn't matter. I mean, there is something on the hair that is significant here. You may work in the hair in the hair industry, I don't know. You may be a hairdresser. I don't know, so that's very specific. But the point is, the point is that these three people from three different origins. Sorry, we need to stop time to time because of the cough. But these are people with different origin. And this is a new beginning. And also, I'm thinking like, you were born with our hair. Then you went into a brown, lighter hair, now you're blonde. As well, a significant message. Okay. Something new is going to start. It's all for your better good. I need water. Wow. Scorpion. Wow. Scorpion is October. This change, I mean, this started uh, completely. Uh, I mean, Scorpio, you may be a Scorpio. Okay. Um, you have a Scorpio in the North Node. Your Moon in a Scorpio, your Sun in a Scorpio, o sea, any of those two. But the idea is of the Scorpio is a radical transformation. 13 is the Death card too, which also represents a Scorpio. This is a double Scorpio energy. This is a temperance. Clear. You you were waiting for the right moment to this to 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 release this. And the moment is now. And the scorpion is telling you now is the time for the change. The death of the old, the beginning of the new. It's death and it's a new beginning, you see? And the scorpion confirming the same card. And my daughter shouting. Okay. Beautiful. Brighter's group. Oh. Create or join a brighter's group to gain inspiration, friendship and support. Well, that's literally a specific message. You are going to write your story. And your story is going to help others to get inspired. It is safe for you to receive. 
The more you allow yourself to receive, the more resources you have available to share with others. Open your arms to receive and be a conduit for good coming to you and through you as it blesses the world. And this is an image of Christmas, you know? The years, the winter, I don't know. I get high vibes here of Christmas. You are going to receive a gift this Christmas, okay? And it's a gift of money, most probably, and it's a gift of resources for you to fulfill this decision. Okay, it's a beautiful message. Okay, what is the message for my dear pile number one? At the bottom, oh, the Ace of Earth, a new, very solid beginning, an offer. You know, the Ace of Earth is about offerings, about new beginnings. Wow, this is very promising. The new year. By the new year, you get this transformation done. By the new year. Ace of fire. Wow, two aces. Look, and here is the white hair. The white hair. You're going to dye your hair as you start the new year. And there are three crows here. And there is someone walking towards a city. Some of you are going to relocate. Some of you are pursuing your passion. Some of you are walking free. Some of you trusted your guys, your intuition. This is someone with a black hair and a crow on the top. I told you, you are trusting your intuition. It is safe for you to receive. You will receive something that will allow you to fulfill your dreams in the big city. Two aces. New year, new life. One, one, a manifestation, a mastery or something. I know what the wish fulfilled. Wow. That scene that, oh, look at this. It's beautiful, no? <laughs> look at the colors. They're similar, no? So beautiful. Uh, the wish fulfilled. This idea of letting go things that are weighed heavily on you, you deserve to take up a space. It's a wish fulfilled. Those things are going to disappear from your life. Five is also a number of change. And nine is that you're very close because for me, this is completed in the new year. Time to decide. Five of Earth. Yes, stop looking in the past, you know? Stop looking in the past. Make a decision based on your heart, true desire. And there is many fives here. There's a five here, five. I mean, it's the number that comes very obvious to me. It is time to leave behind it's a time it's a, it's a time to stop crying for the past. Honestly, stop crying for the past. Let the past go. And the past is very mis mischievous because it's all foxes on the back. Well it's wolf in reality, not foxes. But it's a false perception perception. Five again change. Another five. Wow. And the new beginning. You have to fight for this new beginning. And here we have a serpent, no? Conquering your fears. To make this decision, five, 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 three fives, two ones, three fives and two ones. To make this decision, this change, you have to fight for your life. Wow. This is about you really fighting for your life, for this new beginning. Wow. Standing strong, like an scorpion. Hmm? Transforming everything that doesn't serve you. Two of Earth, to have balance in your life. You have been help always. This two of Earth, for me, is partnership. You have always been co-creating with the with with the universe. You have always put the effort, so you will always be in balance of receiving because you give. That's a confirmation that do not worry because you will always receive because you give. And the brightest group is the Knight of Earth. Yes, 
Something that will start slow, slow, but solid, strong. Doing this writing group is going to be something that it will prove to be successful in the long term. So they strongly recommend for you to start writing. It will represent abundance in the long run. Wow, this is so beautiful. Okay, let's check on these final cards to close the message of this beautiful reading. Focus on service. Yeah, I'm telling you. Because you give, you receive. Get ready for receive. Focus on service. Focus on, on you know, on really who are you in this lifetime that you know. What are you giving is what you're going to receive. Your soul desires only to joyful serve. That's a unicorn that's magic. And to swim in a constant stream of bliss. This stream continuously feeds you everything you need. Put your entire focus upon staying in this stream of giving and receiving in every situation and in all that you do. Oh, that's so beautiful. That's why this brighter group is going to give you money because it's a service to others. Your crystal, so the light. 52 and, and um, 25 significant numbers, age. Seven significant number as well, and so the elite. I'm going to read it because I don't know. I think so the elite is connected with uh, it's like lapis lazuli to be honest. Similar, similar energy, intentionality, conscious awareness, an awakened state, inner knowing, and self confidence. Clear expression of intentions. Yes, you know that you could. On all this matrix, you will grab what serves you. A state of conscious awareness is key to clearly communicate your intentions to the conscious universe. The message of this creature is to be fully awake. And you make choices, even large or small, that will influence your well-being. Choice. Make your decision. Make your choice. Leave the path behind. Leave the fight. You already fight it. So get ready to receive from the universe a wish fulfillment, a new beginning that is very solid, that is very passionate. Because this new beginning, you work for it. You work for it. Travel. Oh, yes. If any of you were planning on travel, you're going on travel. Okay, this is a confirmation that enjoy, enjoy this transformation, enjoy your time off, because, you know, we live only once, and it's better that we live a life full of situations where we can be the most authentic version of who we are. I love your reading. So this reading and this, okay, I forgot the question. Okay, ask a question. Let's check what is yes and what is not. Okay, pendulum, show me a yes. Okay, that's clearly the way. Uh, that's clearly is that, no? Okay, pendulum, show me a no. Yeah, classic. Okay, now let's breathe. Ask the question. And I'm going to ask, dear Pendulum, please give an answer, yes or no, to my pile number one question. Ready, steady, go. No. Clearly, yes. The answer to your question is a yes. And it was 11, 11 on my, on my clock. Scorpio. Also, Scorpio is uh, the uh, is between ten and eleven. No, I don't know why I'm getting Scorpio, but this or the new beginning between those two. So this was your reading. Thank you so much for letting me read for you. I love you. Please subscribe, comment, share, like. Become a patron. I would love to have in patron. I have sixty plus uh, readings there. Thank you for all the support. Thank you for checking out my Etsy shop. I do also private readings there. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you. Namaste. Till the next time. Bye-bye.
Hello, talented souls. If you have chosen pine number two and this beautiful clear quartz pendulum that will be charged with the energy of this reading and available on my Etsy shop and we will use it at the end of the reading for a yes or no answer. Thank you for being here. Okay, let's put it there. Okay, you have chosen my favorite deck. We'll shuffle it. And we're going to answer. And also have the ring, the clear quartz ring. We're going to answer by <laughs> I got distracted. We're going to answer a message from the universe. Special message from the universe. Uh, for you right now, okay? And if you're new, you know, I'm Luna and I focus on igniting your talent for you to ignite the world. That means do what you love. Okay, this is the reading about the message. Could be any message. Let's start with that one. Let's put this one here. Okay. So, a message from the universe. What you need to know right now. River, like the river, like the river, ch, 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 that song, like the river, <laughs> river, I love it, overflowing emotions, it reminds me of the river Parana, I saw literally a picture before this reading, about one of my friends looking at the Parana, the Parana is the biggest river in Argentina, so you may live near a river, you may be close to a river, want to live near a river, but the river is water flowing. So emotions are flowing. And flowing is such a good feeling. And I started my intro in the river. It's about that letting go. It's about let those emotions pass over, flow. It's a beautiful energy, beautiful energy. Because today I'm like, a, I don't know, I want to check what that river wants to tell you. River is the best, the first card. The first card is always the most important card. And with you it's different because the other, the other deck, the other reading I start with this one, this one, it went to this one. River, forgiveness. Oh, yes. As in all life, river begins and ends at the source. Oh, the river begins and ends at the source. Polishing a smooth, all sharp opposition and offering generous opportunities to utilize her waters. She transforms and defines the landscape with her winding paths and gathering spools and acts as the meeting place for cleansing and quenching. Great civilizations have always been found to her gift. She's a timeless force. River is a living oracle of interconnectedness. It is her healing waters that dispel our illusion of sin, our perceived separation from the divine. We look to her to mend our brokenness, just as blood mends our broken bone. River appears when forgiveness is required. Whether someone deserves your forgiveness or not has no relevance. Your decision to forgive is a gift you give to yourself. Release the poison of resentment and move in the direction of your choosing. No one outside of yourself has the power to ally your joy. Often, the most difficult person to forgive is oneself. This type of forgiveness requires special tenderness and care. Call upon rivers unifying water to wash away your misperceptions and forgive. Wow. So connected to my intro. Generosity. Oh. 40. Significant age. Generosity or shum, the goddess of generosity. This is this is lemons. Lemons come. <laughs> there is a phrase that I love. When you have lemons, you make lemonade. If you have lemons, make lemonade. And a friend of mine say, if you have lemons, I make limoncello. 
That's so funny. Lemons are a healing property. Right now with my throat, I'm using lemon and water. Lemon and water. The healing. Be generous with yourself. Give yourself the time to heal and forgive. Study, reading, research and education help you gain confidence and clarity about your career. Nice. Oh, coughing. Research, reading, research and education help you gain confidence and clarity about your career. This is about wisdom. The keys, the books, the computer. There is something that you have, there is something that you have documented about this healing process that is going to come in a book. It's going to be taught in a schools. This is you also being older and teaching about this life experience. Very nice. It's wisdom. Reaper, mamma mia. Another book. For the birth of something new to manifest the death of something holding you back is inevitable. Something had to die. It's exactly, I mean, every, uh, the, uh, all the rings have this kind of energy about transformation, ending and beginning. Well, it goes very well with the end of the year. 32 significant number, 5 exchange, and 23 significant age as well, or number. Um, for the birth of something new to manifest the death of something holding you back is in inevitable. Something is dying, disappearing, flowing to another destination. Savings, as you constantly save for your future, your future is safe. You do your future a self big favor as you constantly set aside present funds. That is part of your self-care and, and path to feeling secure as you focus upon your life purpose. Save money. You have done already that. I'm, th I'm thinking that's a practice that you keep to continue. And gratitude. You attract more blessings when you appreciate your current blessings. Yes. Your blessing. So we have savings, river, gener generosity, study, Reaper and gratitude. Something is end, be grateful for the experience, for something begin. The ribbon is ever flowing. Okay? The ribbon always go back to the source. If you clean, if you, if you are looking at the river and willing to the river to stay still, it will never happen. Accept that things need to heal. Things need to go. The past need to go. Accept the lessons, write them down, you know, have it on a notebook, okay? Um, saving for me is a, is a specific message for some of you about important of taking care of your uh, uh, material well-being. Take care of your body, take care of you, okay? Be grateful and move on. That's what I'm getting. Move on. Move on. Judgment. It will be moved for you. For you. Judgment is karma. Judgment is, is destined. It's destined for the past to be gone. Okay? Destined. What does it serve you will move on. And you will be grateful about this. Savings, eight of wands. Fast moving. Savings also is, savings, your savings are going to grow. That's what I'm getting. Your savings are going to grow. There is money that is coming your way that you will need to put aside because it will grow. Specific message. Wow. Ace of Wands, new beginning, new year. I love this energy. We have seen the Ace of Wands in the previous reading as well. So, new, new, more authentic. And again, the book, the book and the book. Three times a book. Three times a book. A lot of you need to, go to share your story. It will give you abundance. Generosity. Okay, five of cups. Look at that. 
Look at the five. Five is change. Five of Cups is about sorrow. And it's in the river. She's in the river. Crying for those flowers that are living. But she holds two of them. Things from the past will flow as the river. And the things that matter will stay by your side. And the flowers are yellow. And we're talking about lemons. Lemons are healing because of what I said before. And lemons are new beginnings. When you want to do a manifestation about something new beginning, you use lemon oil. I have lemon oil. I bought it in Miami. Miami may be significant. This is lemon oil. So you can put the you can put a little bit on the candles. Okay, like this. And that will manifest a new beginning. That's the idea. Lemons. It's yellow flowers. Remember lemons. Smell amazing, by the way. Mm, nice. The new beginning. Wow. The food. Look at this. Look at look at what is growing underneath. It's a cocoa dry. You're becoming so strong. Earth is supporting you. Wow. You're going to fly. I mean... This is about, honestly, it's about a radical change. Radical, radical change. King of Wands, very committed towards your dreams, passionate. Playing your, your song, playing your drums, carrying your fire in your chest to, move, to go forward. I love that it's a male energy because is the energy of action. And from the full to the king is a big step. And it's a step that happened that fast, eight of wands. It happened that fast because you are you were completely ready to let to leave the things behind. Some of you are letting go a connection. And gratitude. Wow, yes. Be grateful for all the lessons. This is the ending of the pain. Ten of Swords. And this is a very significant painting because we have all these um, agujas trying to reach that hair. And this woman is suffering a little bit, but I like it because it means that the end of the worries, the worries were only in your head. It's ending. Such a beautiful car. Okay, I love it. I love it. Well, okay, what is the final message for you on these Oracle cards? Pink Sapphire, number 4-4. Four, four. It's an 8. We have 4 here as well. We're going to check what Pink Sapphire, but it's love. Guarantees love, abundance. Family, yes. The situation is rooted in an emotional experience with a family member, which we can help you to understand and heal. In your mind and heart, surround this person yourself and experience with calming blue light and many angels. Be open to the syphys within the situation and allow yourself to feel peace. Nice. And the last one, unity. Wow. Wow. All these cards are about love. Unity, family, and this is the end of the river, you know, which is the sea. Many rivers end in the sea. You will live in front of the sea. That's the white house in front of the sea. I like it. Let's check on uh, Pink Sapphire. Forgiveness. Wow. Again. Forgiveness. The river was forgiveness. And we end up with a forgiveness. Choosing to heal. Acceptance and let it go. Let it go. Smoothing the heart. Yes. Have you heard that forgiveness is a gift you give to yourself? Mm -hmm. The Pink Sapphire Spirit message to you is now to concern yourself with the law of karma. <coughs> 
story, okay? For while your loving heart wants to see justice served for the good of all, align yourself with the universal law by choosing to heal yourself. Yes, it's time to start the process of forgiving those who did you harm. When you do that, and you're doing that, guarantee, you are healing yourself, you're healing your family, and you're finding unity within yourself and within the people that you love. So the message that the universe wants to tell you is choose yourself, be generous with yourself, let it go. Oh, the coughing. And now we're going to ask the pendulum for a yes or a no answer. A, ye a yes, it goes this way. And a no goes this way. Okay? So, think of the question, my dear pile number two, and let's get an answer. Let's breathe. <sighs> well, that's a clear yes. It's coming like crazy. That's a clear yes to any question that you have. Okay? So, the pendulum is going to go with the energy of the river, the cleaning energy, the healing energy. And first come, first serve. This is available on my Etsy shop, charged with the energy of, of the reading. Thank you so much for letting me read for you. Thank you for all the love. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I cannot wait for the comments. Please subscribe, comment, share, like. Uh, become a patron. I would love to have you a patron. I have additional pick a card readings there, 60 now. And I also check on my Etsy shop for personal readings or items that I charge and I love all of them i love to do my boxes and deliveries it's such a joy thank you so much till the next time namaste have an amazing day an amazing week amazing life hello talented souls my dear partner number three welcome to your reading you have chosen this pendulum we will use at the end for a yes or no answer thank you for being here you may be left-handed, some of you. Okay, so we use the pendulum at the end, and this is a message from the universe that you need to hear right now. Your deck is a sacred tarot, sacred B tarot. And a, if you are new, I'm Luna, and I focus on igniting your talent for you to ignite the world. That means do what you love. You shuffle the cards. This deck is ready. And these are your oracle cards. Your first card will be this one. And this will be for the end. Okay. What is the most significant message that you need to receive? Independence. Wow, 29 significant age and 92 significant year of birth. It's an 11. You are manifesting freedom, eh? You are leaving your home. You are going to study abroad. There's an energy of, you know, people leaving the house, moving on. Um... Yes, like a new house, new new education, new country, new city, new house, new, 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 new. Independence, like, I get a lot of sense of freedom. A ginger hair may be significant, you have a ginger hair, or you always wanted to have a red hair. Tea magic, 38. I like it. You are my witches, eh? Guarantee. 83 significant year as well. Reach into your subconscious, pull from the source, and weave magic with the intention, and the answers will unfold. You are doing magic. You're being encouraged to do tea magic. I never knew about tea magic, but let's check. 38. I haven't done tea magic. Keywords answers and hard truth. Reach into your subconscious, pull from the... Uh, we, we have read that. Okay? Um, this is the Divination T spell. 
This is a great tea, tea to drink before meditation and vision, psychic and divination work. You will need two blue lotus flowers, one tablespoon of rose petals, one tablespoon of dry lemon balm, three tablespoons of dry mugwort, honey. Steep the ingredients in boiling water for five minutes, then I strain. Drink a cup before you start your practice. Wow, never done this one. I'm going to try it. Um, your higher self choose this card because the answers you're seeking have been right in front of you for some time, but you have chosen not to see them. Wow. Blue lotus flower. I don't know where to get that one. Okay, I'm going to investigate. But yes, that's a great practice to find the answers that you seek. Okay, I need to drink some water, by the way. Talking about tea, I need to drink my mate, which is a tea. Talking about tea, now I want to drink my tea. Give me one second. Uh oh, I have an accident. Yeah. Okay, I'm very curious about that blue lotus flower. Okay, let's go for it. Oops, let's split all the water there. Octopus, wow. Magic. Instead of having two arms, you have eight arms. Reaching goals. Reaching goals, eh? Octopus. Manifestation. Eight is a significant number. We have three, eight, eight. Some people born in March, 88. Octopus. As a complex master of these guys and charismatic contortionist, Octopus is ever-changing, highly resilient and totally unlimited. She's an independent, again, again, independence. Queen, with three hearts, nine brains, and an incredible talent for regeneration. She's a vessel of everlasting treasures that fuel her total recovery and dispel perception of terminality. As a living representation of the power of regeneration, Octopus bestowed the auspicious news that despite profound loss or wounds, life is dexterous. She supports the improbable truth that brokenness is not defeat. We can come back even stronger than before. With the universe, there is infinite supply of energy. Money is not a spent, it's, a, it's circulated. Love is never lost, it takes new forms. Opportunities aren't missed, the returning ways that are more accurately reflect for truth. Call octopus medicine when you need to be reminded that healing and regeneration are not only possible, they are the nature of life itself. Flexible, resilient, creative, regenerative. Float, float in soak in water and tone your body with precious oils. Mm, I like it. Wow, independence twice. Creative expression, your soul long to express itself creative. Freedom, 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 freedom. Creativity. Learning new skills, learning the magic, learning to work with oils and ornament. I don't know, this is the energy of creation. Feeling free. That's what is happening. Windfall of abundance. Mamma mia, for Christmas. Look at that. We have the Christmas guy here. Santa. No way, yes way. An increase in abundance is arriving in many different forms. Some of them unexpected. Be open to receive and know that this abundance comes to you to support your life purpose, health and charitable work. Yes. Yes. Money is coming in for Christmas, honestly. Ask for what you want. Yes, you will have the ability to create your life. What life you want to paint for you. You have multiple talent. Your magic is working. Clear communication with yourself, with God, and with others help you avoid misunderstanding and speed up the process of answer pri prayers. Ask for what you want. Clear. Okay, let's go with the tarot. Windfall of abundance. What message you need to hear today? 
strength, endurance, money. Number eight. Wow. You are, look, alchemy, which is the sun card, but in reality, this alchemy card is the balance. It's the, yeah, the balance card. Okay, abundance. The end of the oppression. The end, you're going to set yourself free. Ten of Wands is the end of the worries. There is money coming, eh? Money coming. Two of Wands. Following your path. Options. Dominion. Aries. Significant, uh, significant sign here. Partnerships. Partnerships in abundance. Kingdom. Becoming very strong in what you do. King of Pentacles, yes. More money, more abundance. You're becoming your own king. You're becoming your own king. Stability. Stability, abundance. I mean, like, big time money coming your way. Wow, the full again. It's a new beginning. It's a new year. In the new year. The journey. The journey for this octopus to change life, to, to, you know, to create the life that you want. You are starting a life that is far more authentic to who you are. In the new year. You're creating your life in a perfect symphony. Ace of Wands again. The Ace of Wands came in every single pile. The new year is very passionate. It's full of creativity. And it's full of authenticity. Okay? Every one of you that are in my channel... In 2024, you will do what I pray. Do your what you love. Ignite your talent, ignite the world. You are in that path to do what you love. And it's going to be there. As for what you want, this is the Nine of Wands. Stop fighting alone. Ask for what you want. It's not a, ba a battle for yourself. Share your worries with others. Ask for what you want. Because you will receive. That's beautiful. Okay. What are what is your crystal? Oh wow. The green quartz, number 50, significant age. Change and new beginnings. Green quartz. Well, this will be hard money. I'm going to read it. Because it's uh, I don't know the green quartz. Sephiroth's green quartz. I don't know. Never see that crystal before. There are so many crystals that I don't know. Life on life terms. Joy, joy de la vie. An acceptance of our place in the world. Heaven on earth. What is meant to be. You are receiving what you create. Ask for what you want. You will receive. The joy de la vie. French. Some of you. Beautiful. Energy work. Oh, yeah, mamma mia. You're doing magic. You're doing magic. You're creating. You're being free. You ask for you want. You manifest. You receive extra money with abundance. You're strong. You have balance. I mean, you are doing the work. Life can be electrifying because its, it's very essence is energy. Your body is a remarkable energy field that will positively respond to loving treatment. Your hands and heart are activated to give healing energy to your loved ones and clients. You can do, you can maybe work on uh, as a Reiki healer and you will be very successful. Your hands can heal. I'm telling you, it's an extra message for some of you. Also, that means that treat your body with like a king because you will receive like a king. Okay? Confidence. Oh, yes. You're gaining confidence every single moment because your independence is making you stronger. Your confidence is going to walk this life as a successful king of pentacles. Wow. Wow. That's beautiful. I love it. So... You have the green the green quartz and you have the green crystal, which is the jade. That's not 
a coincidence. That's very interesting. So what we're going to do is we're going to ask a yes or a no. Yes is like this and no is like this. Okay. Ask a question, my dear pile number three, and let's get an answer. Please give me an answer for my pile number three. It is a yes or a no. It is a yes. I'm going to ask another question. Because I will give you two to you. I don't know why. You need two questions. Second question. Think and breathe. Answer. My dear pile number two. Second question is a no. First question is a yes. Second question is a no. Amazing. Okay, let's put this on the green quartz. Because green and green. I love it. Thank you for letting me read for you. This will be charged with the reading available on my SC shop. Become a patron. I would love to have a patron. Thank you for all the love. Thank you for all the support. Subscribe. Become a patron. Uh, check out my SC shop. Comment. Any way that you help me is much appreciated. Thank you for letting me read for you. Till the next time, namaste. Have an amazing day, an amazing week, an amazing life.